scholars have covered this. You need to know this basics in, in, in fiqh. Necessity makes haram halal. So anytime I'm in a situation, and the necessity means necessity, I'm not going to uh, sugarcoat it and color it, but necessity. So here I am going, for example, coming to labor and delivery. Like there's certain places where you don't have a physician. Or let's say you came in here to um, Colombia, and then you're pregnant, and guess what? You ended up with having labor, and then you go up, show to labor and delivery, and the on-call person is a, as a man. That's it. Because if you're not going to see the man, what's going to happen? going to end up, they will not let you in the, in the hospital. You have to sign, and they have to leave, and then you will probably deliver somewhere else, and that's, you're exposing yourself to danger, and the baby to danger. So this applies. There's a case of necessity. It's not a choice. I don't have another option, and that's it. And then I can explain to, that, to them, and I have seen it in, throughout all my career, if you really explain that as much as, yani the, in delivery, of course, there's issues, but again, respecting your privacy as much as possible. But anytime there is a necessity, for example, my Muslim patients, and I say, even in the office, I tell her, if you're going to need, if you want epidural, I cannot guarantee you a, a, a woman because that's a schedule. I have no control over it. However, and I explain this to her, and I will talk to them that they cover you as much as possible, only the area that they need. But learn, this is the beauty of Islam, that there's always solutions for, for cases. And may Allah make it easy for everyone.